Hey guys, Dark Recycle on FPV, and I have a customer who sent in a drone. I think it was his first build. I'm opening it right now, but it's a big box, so I have to kind of do it off the desk. Uh, it says, uh, I watched a video on YouTube where someone was also having trouble and they may have sent their items to you. You were able to help them program the transmitter, download software. I've had the same issues. I'm overwhelmed. Uh, you were able to help, please. Uh, I'm truly appreciative of any help and guidance. Man, very much uh, happy to help you. Uh, okay, so let me just see what I'm up against here because this looks like it could be quite a bit of work. But then again, you never know. Let me just let me just start opening this stuff up. Um, I think I have a radio in here. I have drones in here. And so here's one drone. Okay, as a matter of fact, let me just go ahead and put this on the screen. There's one. Oh, there's only one drone. Wow. Okay. Okay. It's only one drone, and then we have a memory card, and obviously he sent me his radio. Okay, Tyrannus, all right, and then the battery cord and whatever else. Okay, so let's see what we're working on here. Let's see what we've got. Let's get this out of this here. Okay, QX7 Access Edition. Uh, but he does have the internal battery, so we do not need to use the uh, 18650. So we'll put that back. Okay, but we do need his memory card, which is not in here, it's right here. Okay, so let's see what he's got first. Um, okay, so we've got the antenna, I'm, I'm not, okay, what is he running here? He's running, a beta FPV, oh, I think he mentions that actually. Oh, he's running ELRS. Okay, and he has no ELRS. Okay, so that, yeah, that is one thing that we're going to have to do for sure is we're going to remove the ELRS and put an XM Plus. So let me knock that out. And I'll inspect the rest of this at the same time. I'm glad to help you. Um, sorry about the phone call. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. We had some issues come up. I'll call you back in a minute, okay? Is that okay? Oh, okay, bye. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's inspect what we got here. <sighs> okay. All right, let's turn the soldering on. We go get an XM. Oh, you know what? I think I have one sitting right here, actually. Yep. Let's see if we can make this work. So, one of my test ones. Um, Maybe this guy try to help him a little bit on his pricing, uh, but he's running access, so we'll have to update his stuff there. So let me just go ahead and get my soldering going on. Let's get these wires kind of cleaned up a little bit. Let's do a firmware update on it actually. So let me just see what I can do here. All right. First things first, let's remove the ELRS. Okay, the LRS is out. Um, sorry, guys, I'm just looking to see. Because I 
Let's go over here. All right, let's see what's got over here. some of these big pieces of solder. That's something I don't want to see on here. So let me see if I could just kind of clean this up just a little bit. Much better. Okay. Same thing here. Yeah, I'm not too thrilled with what I'm seeing on the bottom here. So, oh darn it, this could be a little bit more work. Let's just see what's happening because, I gotta tell you, I mean, when you put the wire, you don't have to send the wires through the holes, okay? Let's just be clear on that. And what you wanna avoid is this. This is not good right here, okay? So if you were to look at this, this is what you have to be very careful of is, just, first of all, LEDs don't make the drone fly better, so don't put too much time into LEDs. But if you could see, as a matter of fact, I'll just put this under the microscope because I want you to be able to see what I'm looking at here. So bear with me a second. Holy moly. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the camera up and then I'll switch the computer screen on here in just a second. Okay, so I want you to see what I'm looking at. Here it is. Okay. Look, this is what you want to avoid. Let me see. I don't know if I can lay this down straight, so bear with me as I try to figure this out. Something like, look at that. See that right there? Yeah, you don't want any mess like that. That's terrible. Okay? Um, it's definitely not something you could depend on. And because of the way they're soldered, I'm going to tell you, like, you're going to see, you know, you, you, you've got the chance for movement between these. And I definitely uh, wouldn't want, sorry, I'm just pulling on it to see. Uh, because we've got so much of this pad here. I wouldn't want this to be like this. I, I don't like that anyway, period, right there. So let's, for this person who owns this, let's work on this, okay? Let's work on not sending the wires to the hole, okay? Let's just, um, I'm hoping that we can get these removed because I do not like them sitting like that. So let me see if I can heat this up and pull at the same time, there we go. One wire, two wire. I'm not going to worry about the LED right now. I'm going to make sure that the pads are clean though. Okay, and then I'm going to pull the next set of wires out. I do not like doing this. Here goes. One, two, and there you go. There we go. Let's take this. Hey, mama. You ready for lunch? Is lunch ready? Yeah. Ooh, okay. Well, then I'll find a stopping point here. I'm just cleaning this gentleman. <laughs> Bless you. Holy crap. You good? Yeah. Uh, this is one of those, this is an army that could take a while. Oh yeah? Yeah, but I mean, it's it's, it's not too bad. Hey, some little, can you give me that little piece of clear plastic, little mm -hmm. circle? So I'm just gonna try to, hey, do me a favor. Put yeah. your hand right here. Pull on those wires, just keep pulling on them. Uh, grab the red one first, pull on the red one. Okay, now pull on the black one. Okay, and then pull on the white one. Perfect. Okay, and then I need you to do it again now. Okay. Your job is not finished yet. Uh, we'll do it here. So what is that? That's the LED, okay. So white. grab the white one first. Okay, okay and then, Black. all right, perfect. Now let me just clean that up. Make sure they're not, perfect, okay. So we have the board free now, and now we can go ahead and work on this. I am gonna go have lunch though. So guys, we will continue this video in just a minute. All right guys, had time to get a little bit of lunch in, and now uh, also look over the wiring diagram of this, the Mamba F405 MK2. And now I'm going to get this set up. 
And so what we, what we know is that right here on this side is where we're going to be connecting our S bus and our 5 volt based on the diagram that I'm looking at, which I'm looking right here. It looks as though we have uh, S bus, 5 volt, and ground in the following order. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, um, let me need something from you here, honey. What's that? Uh, No, no, actually, I'll be okay. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so I've got the soldering iron turned on. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to run. I'm going to solder the wires ahead of time for this. So I'm just going to get a red, a black, and a yellow. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and solder the receiver connection now. And then I'm going to wait because I want to update the receiver, but to do that, i got to set up his radio. I don't think the radio has been configured yet either. So we're, we've got a little bit of work to do here, guys. But you know what? It's a good time to learn. If you don't know how to do this, this is going to be a very good video for you to watch. Or well, you may not like it. I don't know. But it'll be a, a video to watch at least um, on how I would do this or at least given what I'm given to work with, how I would do it. Um, so let's go ahead and at least tin our wires. All right, so we've got our S plus wire that should be right here. All right, and we've got our five volt wire, which is right here, and then we've got our ground wire. All right, just like that. Then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. All right, so S plus five volt. Dun, 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 dun. I hate that I can't play music while I do this because then it gets f uh, flagged as copyright, whatever. I mean, it's so stupid, you know. But oh well, I guess that's the way it is. So you have to listen to me sing or hum or blah 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 blah. All right, so there's that. Now, now that these are uh, do this, we're going to go ahead and twist these wires up. Okay, S bus uh, a five volt. And go around and do the same on this side. Let's wind that back down now. Go over here. S plus right here. Okay, now that's done. Now we'll do is just kind of okay. I see one of my dogs walking outside. Who is that? It's Noodles. My dog Noodles. Hey, hey. I don't know if she knows the dog's outside. Noodles! No, no. Where are you going? Let me go with my dog again. It's hot as hell outside. Come here. Sam? You want to open the door for noodles? She's right here. Yeah, I was waiting for her at the front door. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. So we're going to turn these wires up. So let's do one, two, three. Turn it around. Get these up. One, two, three. There you go. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and look at, based on what I'm seeing from the Mamba wiring diagram, we have ground five and S bus. So it's going to go. Uh, let's see, ground is going to be here, 5 is going to be here, and then S bus is going to be on the end right here, okay? So now we will take these wires and go ahead and put these in place so that we can at least have that done. And we're going to do it from the inside. So let's go like this. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Y'all leaving? Yes, sir. We got back. You just said polo, right? Is what you knew. Yeah, that'd be fine. Anything else? No, I don't think so. Okay. Bye, Ashton. Love you, dude. Love you, homie. Be good. Yes, sir. Bye, babe. Bye, babe. Love you. Love you. Drive safe. Don't talk to strangers. No strangers. Love you. Love you. Okay. There we go. And we're going to keep that just like that. Okay. Well, I guess since the customer wanted to have the LEDs, oh, 
We'll go ahead and add them, but I'm not really, I mean, it really has nothing to do with the quality of this drone or how it's gonna do. The wires need to be trimmed quite a bit. There's too much exposed wiring here. So let's cut all this excess out. You really only need a wire that's about one to two millimeters in length, okay? So don't go any longer than that. It's just excess, not necessary. All right, let's see if we can tin this up here too. So let's go five volt uh, LED, okay. And then let's get to soldering these on. All right, so there's one. Two, three, there we go. Okay, and because there was so much solder on the bottom, I want to test the continuity to make sure that when I heat it on the top, it doesn't somehow bind on the bottom. I don't want to just do it by sight. So, so far so good. We have no, we have no short there, so we just take those wires and kind of tuck them in here a little bit. All right, now we're gonna, might as well continue over here. So let's go ahead and tin that up. And so here, uh, looking at that diagram, it's going to be LED ground in five. So LED is here. Ground is in the middle and five is on the edge. And these are extremely long. So we'll go ahead and let's wind this up a little bit. I'm not gonna cut his wires. I don't wanna have to retin everything. I'm just gonna tuck the excess in. And since the resistance issue on this kind of thing isn't an issue, having one LED wire longer than the others is more of a cosmetic thing. And yes, under my drones, I would make it identical. But uh, when I do something like this for someone, I don't know if they're gonna change it. Once I cut the wires, if they wanna do something different, they'd have to redo the wiring and I don't wanna put them in that situation. So I'm just going to do it and then push the wires underneath and we would be, we'll be just fine. All right, so we're gonna go LED first, my bad. Okay, so let's, let's just twist this up really good because we don't need that much, here we go. So white will be first. There it is, thin ground. And then our five volt. All right, again, we're gonna test for continuity. Now these two should, yep, and these two should, yep, but these shouldn't, perfect. Those should, okay, so that's good. And what we'll do, again, is we'll just push the wires Underneath like that, keep tucked away. Now, oops, with our receiver, I'm sending the receiver out back. If the customer wants to change that later, he can. But for right now, I'm sending it out back and I just need to get the LEDs here squared away. So we have again, five ground LED. And if you're noticing by now, if you have one of these boards or get to look at it, the squares are always gonna be the five. So we have five ground LED. And then over here, uh, we have LED ground and five. So LED ground and five. Okay, now, again, these wires are long. Let's go ahead and just kind of get it up there. there go. We're gonna trim a lot of this excess off. There's one. Two and three. Okay. Uh, and we're going to go straight from the outside in. So, in this case, it's five volt. Okay. Ground. 
Okay. LED. All right. Continuity check there. And then if we test it here, it should. And here it should. And here it should. Perfect. Okay. So that said, we only have one left. I'm going to go ahead and put these back on now. Only have one left to do. Of course, these don't want to go on properly. Why would they? That would be too easy. There we go. Okay. Okay, last one is going to be here. So we're going to take these wires, trim off the excess, actually only the ground and the positive and the 5 volts. And we have a little bit of excess. The LED itself, the LED wire, signal wire, seems to be cut pretty good. Okay, so there we go. And we're doing, obviously, LED ground and 5 volts. So let's do that real quick. LED. And then ground. And then five volt. There we go. Okay, and we'll do our last continuity test as we pass these wires underneath. All right, let's tuck those in. Make sure they go in there well. Nope. Do I one more continuity test? That was funny. I did that and the phone went off and freaked me out. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Perfect. All right. So continuity looks good. Let me see what my phone is doing. Sorry, guys. <sighs> okay. Um, let's see where we're at here. Okay, so there's that. Okay, let's put the last on here. All right, let's get these wires pushed in just a little bit more. If we can, there we go. There we go. Looking good, looking decent. Um, Right, so now we have these ready for our receiver when we're ready to add it. However, the receiver, which I put somewhere, and I will find again shortly. Let me put my meter away. Okay, I'm looking for it, and I've got to find it. Here it is. It is going to need a firmware update to match the firmware of the radio, okay? Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and desolder all of this. Okay, okay. Since that glue is heated up, we can pull that off and clean it. All right, so that part handles the quad, okay? Now, we need to add the receiver, but to do that, we need to know what the radio is running. And to do that, we need to turn the radio on and see where this customer is at on his radio. So, let's see where he's at right now, and here's his memory stick. See what we got going on. Okay, 2.3.2, 2.3.12. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take his memory stick out. Okay, turn the radio off because this is gonna need a full update. I hear my dog's barking, just wondering what the hell's going on outside. Okay, so let's put that in here. And I believe when I turn this on, it's going to configure the memory card. Let's see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Yep, perfect. Okay. With that said, it is now time to get to the PC and we're on OpenTX. Okay, so I'm gonna share that screen with you here in just a second so you can see what we're gonna do next because the second part of this entire process is going to be to uh, get his OpenTX configured properly. So, here we go. Uh, let me do this, here we go. Oh, that's not it, what the hell did I just do? Here, this one, there we go. All right. So, just so we're clear, we're gonna go back to his radio and we are going to hold the sliders in, do like that, wait for it to come up and you can see where it says bootloader, so forth, and we are gonna get ready, whoops, down here, to plug in the USB. And I happen to have a cable sitting right here. So we're gonna plug this in, just like that. It says USB connected, and now we're gonna head on over here. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna to go to my settings and I'm gonna select my radio profile. So let's go here and, oops, what am I doing? Uh, okay, close that, close that, cancel this, uh, don't ask you then, and not now. Uh, let's go to settings, radio profiles, and then we are running the QX7 uh, access right here, customer QX7 access, okay? So I've already had that loaded from before. Now I need to do a download because that was the last one I downloaded, so let's check for an update. And we do want to download the new one, so we're gonna click yes. And I need to see where I'm at on this here. So where am I at here? Customer X10, okay, that's the wrong folder. So let's go to desktop. And I think it's gonna be under transmitter. Where's my folder? Let's do my name. Transmitter, here it is. I don't know if that's a customer. QX7 access, QX7. I don't think I, I thought I had another folder. Hold on a second. Customer QX7 access. Here we go. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to our SD card folder, go to our firmware, go to our OpenTX, and we're going to say this is 2.3.15. Okay, we already have this set, so let's just go ahead and do that. Change this and click save. It's going to download new. No, I do not want to do that right now, but I do want to download the SD card contents as well. So let's do the 2.3, and I don't know if that's what I have, so let me head on over to mine and go to transmitters on my desktop. Let's go to name, and then go to transmitters. Oh my gosh, here it is. QX7 access. What is the firmware? 3.8, and I think it's just 3.9, right? So yeah, I need to download that. So I'm gonna download this real quickly. Uh, Kind of quickly, I guess. Well, not that quickly, I guess. Well, that sucks. Four minutes. Okay, so it's downloading for four minutes. Fine. So while it's doing that, um, let's see. There's a few things we can do here. Let's look over. Let that download. And while that's happening, I'm going to let that happen, and I'll keep an eye on that. Let's get back to the desk then, and let's just see what we've got on this quad. Okay, so uh, we do need to test. Let's go and test his soldering on his XT60. Okay, we are good there. Um, what is that? It looks like there's actually a piece of solder right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me show you what I'm looking at here. Maybe y'all can see it. Let me raise this up. I'm gonna see, because I don't know if that's piece of solder or not. Let's see. Right there. That. What is that? Right there. So, oh, it is a piece of solder. Okay, well, gotta tell a guy, be careful with your solder because that's just rolling around. You don't want that to happen. All right, let's put that back. Let's get back to our uh, bench again. Here we go. Solder has been removed. So, really, we should be able to take this, we power this off. I've got my smoke stopper ready. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And we should be able to hopefully, look at that. Excellent. So, so far so good. We do have our wires here, so be very careful of those, right? Um, and what we are gonna do here is we're going to plug this in and let's go back to our 
let's go back to our computer and let's minimize that. And let's go to, uh, we still got about 29 minutes. You're lying. Come on. I, I hate when this happens. Um, that's much crap. Hold on. This doesn't make any sense. they're running slow. Wonderful. That just delays the whole process, but hey, you know what? Doesn't matter. 2.3, let's see, we're running a QX7 access right here. Maybe I have it already. Hold on. Do I have this already? Let me go to uh, Maybe I have it for something else. QX7 ACCST. Uh, nope. What else would use it? Oh, hell, I don't know. I'm not going to keep screwing around with it. So let's see. Where were we at? Where did they get me here? It looks like it's probably going to take the same amount of time. Sometimes it'll go quicker, I think, but who knows? not get anywhere. I think we'll cancel that. Okay, it says we got about 13 minutes left. Screw it. Okay. Oh, wait. It says I already have this. Hold on a second. So let's go to downloads. Maybe I do have it already. Let's see. Do you see a dot three nine? Uh, come on, come on, come on, please. It'd be really nice. Sorry right, guys, what am I looking for? SD card, okay, let's go through, let's try to find this. Maybe I don't have it, damn it. SD card, no. I give up, it's pissing me off. If I type SD, can you give me something? Oh, right here. Hey, I do have it. I think that's it. I think that'll do it. Let's see if that's the right one. Let's say copy. Uh, 2.3009. Uh, by 64 SD card. I think that's it. So let's try that one. Let's take that and let's go back to desktop and transmitters and QX7 access. And let's paste this here. Let's paste. I think that is it actually. Yeah, I think so. And then let's go ahead and extract all, extract. That's gonna take forever anyway, but that sure as heck is better than waiting 18 minutes. All right, so while that's going on, I think I'm gonna stop on the quad right now because I think that is the correct version. So let me just um, disconnect the drone. Let's bring the radio back for the time being. I'm gonna still let this keep downloading while we're trying, but man, that would be really cool if that's it. Oh, that's my wife texting. Let's see what we got. I hate when I have to try to remember the air filter size. 20 by 25. Okay, what are we doing? I mean, I'm really, my hands are tied right now, so let's just give it a second, wait for that to download. Okay, oh my God, it takes forever. So it's gonna unload, and what is this one, my old one? Yeah, I don't need any of that, so we can get rid of this. So we're gonna move that to trash, so delete that. Okay. 
Dun, 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 dun. Oh, you know what? While I'm here, though, I might as well go ahead and see if I have the firmware in place for the RX. Do I have the XM Plus? There it is, the XM Plus 2.1.2, and I think that's the newest one. Uh, so I'm going to go to FreeSky. Let's go to FreeSky RC. While this is downloading, let's let that keep downloading, but let's go to FreeSky RC. And let's go to our receivers. Uh, let's go to the... Uh, what the hell? Where am I? There we go. Let's go to the XM Plus. Okay, and then we are going to do the D16 firmware. 2.1.2, so that is it right there. Okay, now the only other thing we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to check the download for the radio itself. So let's go back and let's go to the radio and let's go to the Tyrannus. And we need the QX7, QX7 access. And we're gonna download the ISRM firmware to 2.1.6. So we're going to download that, which I've already done, but I'm going to download it again anyway. And then, whoops. No, don't want to mess with that. And then they give us the radio firmware, damn it. Okay, so this one here, I'm going to show in the folder and I'm going to copy that. So I'm going to take this here and I'm going to cut and I'm going to go and put it desktop transmitters qx7 access i'm going to paste that here okay and then i'm going to extract all okay so there's that folder so i can close that i think i clicked the question mark by accident damn it now it's going to open a help file wonderful don't need it thank you for nothing goodbye Okay, so let's drop this back in the zip files. And then let's take the one that was extracted right here. Let's take this. This is our ISRM update. So let's copy this and put it into our SD card folder under firmware, under TX firmware. And looks like we already have it. Okay, well, I guess we have it. So let's go back. delete all right so the only thing left is we're waiting for this to get done extracting and i think it is so here's our files here and the biggest thing is going to be the sounds so we're going to take away all of these because we don't need any of these let's delete okay and then we'll take that one and this one and this one and delete okay awesome let's go back to our sd card uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take everything but this folder. So let's go to our SD card folder that already exists, which is right here. Okay. And we're going to rename this to SD card old underscore OLD. All right. Then we're going to take our firmware. It's the only one I care about. Take our firmware folder, click copy, go up and go to the new SD card folder, which is this right here. And we're going to click paste and we're going to replace okay because we want a firmware folder and then we're going to rename this to sd card okay sd c a r d perfect okay so now all our firmware has been copied over uh we've got the xm plus i believe copied over into our firmware folder uh let's go there and see xm xm plus there it is 2.12 so that's set. So the only thing left, I, actually, that's pretty much about it. So what we're going to do now is let's close this and head back over to OpenTX. Okay, here's OpenTX. Let's click uh, OK. Now what we want to do is we want to synchronize. So we're going to go and synchronize our... Uh, that's I clicked the wrong thing. Sorry, I meant this. So we have our QX7 Access SD card, and we're going to have our folder, which is right here. That's our... SD card in the radio and we're going to click 
start. And it's gonna copy about 332 files over. Those files are gonna be important. And look, I know if that doesn't make sense, I'm, I'm, this video is to help the customer that sent this to me. I want him to be able to see it. If you guys can learn from this, great. If you have any questions about it, look, and please understand, I love to help, but helping isn't free, okay? Because helping for free doesn't pay for this camera or this camera or that computer or this house or anything else. So when you guys ask for something, like you want me to help you, I'm always wel welcome to do that, but then be prepared for me to send you a thing that says, hey, can you help me pay rent? Can you help me buy groceries? And if you don't want to hear me asking for that all the time, then just like chip in some money, you know, pay, pay a regular support thing and I'll be more than happy to help you. But I do have people that are paying and they, they, they are my priority because they help to make sure that I can put food on the table. So please don't take it like I can't help you. Please don't tell me, oh, this video doesn't make sense. Well, because it's not made for you. It's made for the customer that is paying me to do this. And he will understand what's going on. And if he doesn't, I will help him, okay? But um, just, just so we're on the same page, all right? Um, all right, and that being said, uh, we're going to copy these contents over to our SD card. Then we're gonna flash the radio. And then we're gonna go ahead and update the bootloader. Then we're gonna flash the receiver. Then we're gonna bind it. And then we're gonna add the receiver to the quad, put it into beta flight, and boom. So this is a long video. <clears throat> Make me sleepy. I don't care. All right, while I'm doing this, I would like to give a shout out to my son, Landon, my son, Jaden, and my son, Ashton. School starts in six days, boys, so get ready because stuff's about to get real. <sighs> yeah. Oh, one other thing. Uh, we're going to do a new contest, Cyclone FPV contest, like we used to do before with the raffle and the wheel and all that. Yeah, it's coming back. It's going to be cool, though. So I'm going to integrate that with my new Max Wax Packs website. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but that is uh, the new website, new company I'm doing now, um, which is to uh, Max Wax. Check this out. So we have uh, probably close to about, not well, we're not there yet, but let's just say we're close to uh, half a million that we've spent on cards. You can see all these here. And there's a ton more that aren't even loaded, but um, we're running a promo here. I'm gonna run something here. Uh, and it's gonna include Max Wax Packs and Cyclone FPV, so it's gonna be pretty neat. Um, all right, anyways, that's besides the point now. Let me close that. Let's get back to what we're doing here. Okay, so the synchronization is done. Now what you can tell is, it'll tell you here, uh, total 664, that's because it checks both directions. It copied 32 files over, uh, none were skipped. Uh, uh, sorry, zero updated, skip going back the other way where all of them and then there were zero errors. So now if you do click start, it's gonna go quick, right? It's gonna say skip, okay. So our files are now on the SD card, all right? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna write our firmware to the radio. So let's click this button right here and uh, let's see, make sure we're in the right folder. QX7 access, okay. At two through, okay, we're gonna click write. Here we go. Okay, close. Now we're done, right? Okay, so now let me show you what we're going to do is we are going to come over here to this SD card, safely remove the USB thing, I mean. We're going to right-click here, we're going to left-click on D, and we're going to left-click on E. Okay, and now once those are done, you're going to basically do just, just like this. You're going to come over here and you're going to pull that out, and you're going to click exit. Welcome to now pay attention. TX. Okay, we have not done the bootloader yet. Well, the switches are good, everything's good. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and power this up. Now you can do it two different ways. I'm doing it this way because I like you guys to see the visual. With the power off, plug in your USB cable again, okay? Great. You can hear it on the computer. It initializes it there. Now I'm gonna show you the computer screen again. Now what we're gonna do, okay, it's finding it. Now we're gonna say we wanna write the firmware again. And we're gonna write the same firmware, we're gonna click write. But this time, we're writing the bootloader. Now, you can easily do that from the radio itself without having the computer once you load the firmware onto the SD card. However, for people that don't have an SD card, this is how you do it, so follow this directions. Not to mention, you get to watch your screen here and you can see if there are any errors. And I like that, because you shouldn't just trust things are working, you should actually take the time to look and say, oh, okay, I see this, I see what's going on, everything makes sense, kind of, and all I really care about is these little dots are going forward. That's my progression dots, right? And I wanna make sure that there's no errors at the end of this. And if there aren't, perfect, okay? So let's wait for that to finish. We're getting closer to the end here and I need to find my firmware update cable for the receiver. So let me look for that right now. 
do 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 Maybe? Nope. Maybe? Nope. Maybe? Nope. But I do have a trusty coffee here, and that's good enough for me. Thank you. All right, we're 100% done on that. So now what we can do is we can click close. And again, eject. Okay. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Hold on. What? Hmm. I thought there would be another one to eject, but oh well. Now we're going to unplug it, and now let's get back to business here. Here's our radio. Welcome to OpenTX. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right? Awesome. Fail safe, not set. Don't care. Here's what I care about. Now we need to go and set up the radio. So we're going to hold the menu button down. You see all these now we have because we have the memory stick in. We have all this stuff here. Here's our firmware right there. Let's go ahead and update the firmware on the ISRM. We're going to go to 2.1.6, so hit that. Held that, and it's going to go ahead and update the ISRM internal, and we're golden. So now when we're doing this, we're going to add the same update, similar update, to the receiver <coughs> so they can talk to each other. And I'm going to try to find my receiver update cable, which is always lurking somewhere in the darkness here. One day I will organize it, but that just seems too responsible, and I don't feel like being responsible. So... My flag boy and your flag boy. Man, that. Ugh. I've been playing Fortnite with my son, and that song is stuck in my head now. Alright, what's it doing? Is it still going? Okay, it's still going. I'm still trying to find my update cable. I will find one, one way or the other. We will, we will accomplish great things. Just hang tight. Because I can't find diddly squat right now. I think I put it away actually. So let me just see. Did I put it in the Let me put it in the Hello, Norman. Hello. Hello. Oh. Damn it. Well, I'm finding a lot of other cool stuff, though. I gotta start looking around more often. This is cool. Um, nope, nope, nope. Nope, but it's close. Nope, but that's close. Nope, close again. Okay. Looks like I'll have to just get another one. Fine. How are we doing? We're still riding over here, so that's good. Things are still updating, progressing, progressing like normal. Okay, I think our update is done. So there's that, perfect. And okay. So update's done, so we're gonna click okay. Get out, get out, get out. Great, now it's time to do the receiver. And since I don't have the damn upgrade cable that I usually use because it's now MIA. I'm just gonna make one. All right, so I happen to have one of these. This comes with the RX, RXSR. I'm just gonna cut this. Ooh, what's that? Nope, see I got plenty of these. Oh, screw it. All right, so we're going to take this here. Oh, wait, I found it. Oh, my God. found it. It was on something. Here we go. Sweet. The last minute, man. Right when push came to shove, all I need to do is uh, desolder it real quickly. Uh, this is the M+, Plus, I believe, that I was working on as a test. So let me go ahead and get the soldering iron on. I'm going to put these ones in a bag. So radio now has been updated. Now, it still needs to be set up. There's still a couple things that need to be done on here. So I'll show you that. Um, first thing we want to do is let's go to our settings page. Here we go. 
So let's hold down the menu button, click page, page, page. Oh, let's go back one. Okay, so let's set the date. Uh, wrong, year, there we go. Is it 2.30 already? Nope, I don't know what time zone this guy's in, but I'm setting it for mine. Uh, and I don't know, does this do, I think this is military time, isn't it, or no? Yeah, it is, so it would actually be uh, 13.31, okay. Uh, let's go down to our, these are the things you wanna check, okay, so just do this. Mode two is right, T-A-E-R, I don't care. Um, none of the rest of this really matters much to me. Uh, make sure you just had mode two. The biggest thing is that you made sure that you have mode two right here, okay? Uh, all right, now, let's go back. Uh, let's go page again, page, page, calibration, okay? Let's go ahead and calibrate so we're not dealing with this later. Uh, put everything in the center, okay? I think that's all there is on this one. Okay, and then hit enter, and it'll tell you, set sticks to midpoint, okay? So it's fine, and now, move them gently. Don't go bazooka bob on them because this isn't a test of your strength. I promise you, you're not gonna be strong flying drones. So don't act like Billy Bob. Here we go, all right. Go all the way around gently, okay? You're trying to set the zero points here, okay? Turn these down, turn them up, turn them down. There you go, and then hit enter. Perfect. Now, uh, yep, 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 everything should be good. All right, so that's that. Now, our soldering iron is up, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this from here so that I can use this update cable for, I'm gonna put this M plus right here. I'm gonna bring the XM plus, and we're going to add these wires, add this to here, so we can flash this XM plus and do an update, right? So just watch, ready, and one, okay, and two, All right, and then the last one. Hopefully that'll hold just long enough to get this flash done. That looks okay, I guess. Let me see. I need to peel back this paper to make sure that I didn't get this Stick to anything. Yeah, I think that'll work. That should work. All right. So let's go ahead and plug this in. Okay. Now we're going to hold our menu button down, hit page, go to our firmware, go to our FreeSky RX firmware, XM Plus, and we're going to run uh, ACCST uh, 2.12, and we will do RSSI, and this is actually saying RSSI. These are all... Uh, I think it's in here. It's actually duplicated twice. So XM plus, no, the other one's XM. This is going to be 16 channels. Let's do that. And we're going to flash the S port. Nope, I think I have this backwards. So let me put it like this. Sorry, ground goes to the left. That's my fault. XM plus, flash S port. We should see the light blinking. And there it goes. I'm not getting a good connection here. So hold on a second. Let me make sure I've got this right. There we go. I don't think my, my solder initially to put that S port on it wasn't good. All right, so it's updating right now. So we're gonna just make sure that it's compliant, or I mean, it's in the same firmware as the uh, internal ISRM that we did, just did a little bit ago, okay? My M plus, I'm gonna put back in a baggie because it's still a good receiver. Find a baggie, I'll just put it in here. All right, the XM Plus has now been updated. So we're gonna click exit, okay, there we go. Now, we're gonna power off the radio. Disconnect the update cable. Move the radio out of the way for right now. Get our soldering iron. Remove the update pins. There we go, okay. Set that aside in here so I don't lose it again. Okay, bring over the drone. Excuse me. 
excuse me, that's my wife. Let's see what's going on. Okay. All right, that's my wife. All right, cool. Uh, all right, so now what we're going to do, <coughs> let's go ahead and kind of set this aside somewhere. I don't care where, but just keep it out of the way for right now. Well, that didn't do anything. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and connect, solder the wires down to the receiver. ground positive oh my gosh where's my yellow cable here it is and my s bus Cool, perfect. Okay, now we're gonna get our heat shrink. Yep, that'll work. up there we go turn that off And for right now, I'm going to actually just put it on the bottom here because I don't feel like messing with the top plate right now during this video. So I'm going to put this right here, okay? And I'm going to pull back this other side here and just stick the receiver here. And if the customer wants to move it down the road, he can. But uh, there would be no need to if you don't want to. It can sit right here just fine. Okay, and then we'll run the antennas and lock those down accordingly so now that we're set here what we need to do now sorry i know that that uh heat gun is cooling down there you go let's put all this stuff away and make some room on the table okay put this here put this here put this here and give us some room on our table okay now we're going to go ahead and power up the quad and in doing so, we're also going to hold the bind button down on the receiver. Okay, turn that on. Putting it into bind mode, we should have two green. We should have green and two lights, a green and a red, which we do. I'll try to show you guys that on camera. You can see them right there. Okay, now we're going to turn on our radio. Welcome to Open TV. And we're going to go to his model here because I don't think he's got other models. You see, he's got I don't know what rod one is and fly, but we're going to use this one. So I'm going to hit page, and I'm going to go up to here, and I'm going to change the mode to accst d16 that's going to be for internal external should be off it is so this is going to be because it's model one we're going to select receiver one and we're going to hit bind and we're going to put telemetry on and we're going to watch as that red light blinks look how beautiful that is that means it's working hit exit 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 now we're going to turn the radio off i mean turn the quad off turn it back on and we are going to see a green light soon once this is done binding and there you go we are green sorry right about there uh, our red light is gone and we have connection right there okay now that being said i'm gonna put this here okay try to move the radio a little bit away so that we can stick because there is a issue with it being close but let's just do this light is green and now we are going to go into a beta flight okay 
You know that ISRM 2.1.6 really does bother me a little bit because it seems to jump in and out. I'm going to go into Betaflight here and show you guys what I'm talking about. So hold on a second. So let me open Betaflight real quick. Let me see if it's already open. Here it is. Let's connect. Okay, okay, reset, calibrate. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, let's go to receiver and let's do, nope, let's go to uh, S bus and click save. Okay, let's connect, ports, that's right. Nope, not unless you're running some other thing, you don't need that. Okay, connect. And now let's go back to receiver and see what we have. And you're gonna see this thing bouncing. You see how it's bouncing? Don't worry about the spinning part or anything. That's just because this is off. Let's go this way, Let's save. There we go. Okay, but we are dropping signal here. Uh, not bad, it's just that it has an intermittent signal um, issue. And that is sometimes firmware related. Uh, but in this case, it actually looks okay. We do have the yaw spinning a little bit, so we're going to fix that here. Um, let me see what I want to do here. If I flick that and see, it goes back. Okay, so we're good. All right, so we have our receiver set, right? Now what we want to do is let's go through the standard setup procedure, though. So first thing is we want to make sure that our quad is set right. That's up, down, up. Yep, that's perfect. Uh, next thing we want to do, we go to our ports. We've already configured those. I'm not worried about that. Under configuration, we don't need any of these, so we're going to turn those off. Uh, and let's go, what is this maximum angle? So he's turning, I'm not gonna send it that way. If that's what you wanna do, you can. I'm gonna put this to um, 25. And that means that if you're more than 25 degrees, it won't arm. Sorry, but that's how I'm gonna send it out. Let's go back to connect here now, reset, calibrate, and let's head over to the rest of our configuration. Um, okay, 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 okay. Yep, yep, yep. LED, okay, air motor, okay, OSD. I do not like air motor all the way on. Telemetry, you can leave on if you'd like. Uh, actually, not right now. Um, air mode will turn on with one of the switches. And he could change this all later. This is not a big deal. To keep everything else, click Save and Reboot. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do a channel assignment for arming and disarming. And so I'm going to go ahead and make sure. Let me go to uh, Receiver. Okay, we're good there. We are getting our telemetry, we are getting our um, RSSI here. And I think that's gonna be, trying to kind of go the easy cheap ass way to do this and I knew that wasn't going to work all right so screw it what I'm going to do is and usually it would be down here I must have loaded it for the eight so I'm going to go ahead and go into our CLI and I'm just going to do it like this set RSSI uh, let's see set RSSI where am I at did it for 12 but I'm now I'm wondering if I did it for 8 or not yeah I did there it is so set RSSI and it's good there I mean like uh, I don't I can bring it in and we're gonna get a lost signal almost immediately right there okay so and that I think that's gonna be a um, I'm gonna do something different I'm gonna try something we'll, we'll try it right now just so I can show you guys so let's do this real quickly because this is something that I've noticed before I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change the firmware loaded on the internal ISRM, uh, I don't want 2.1.6, hold on. I'm gonna actually plug this in and it's gonna turn my radio into like a USB. I'm gonna click the USB, so I'm gonna go for the storage mode, okay? Because I wanna copy a file over on this and I really do think that it is, um, 
the firmware that's chosen. So let me go back and let's go to here. I want to go to Free Sky's website actually. So let's go here. And I want to download the IRCRM for, I'm going to download this one. Okay, so let me download that. I know I already have a copy of it, but let me just download it anyway. Let me show this in the folder. That's going to be this one right here. So let's cut. And let's go to desktop, transmitters, and customer QX7 access. I'm going to paste this here, and I'm going to extract it. Okay, and I'm gonna take this file here, 2.1.0. I'm gonna take this one, and I'm gonna cut, and I'm gonna go here and go to my SD card, and go to my firmware, and go to my TX firmware, and I'm gonna paste it here, okay? And I'll make a new folder. Uh, fw isrm v v2.1.0 okay i'm going to put this in there and then i'm going to copy this and put it in the drive because you know we we now have the sd card loaded here so i'm going to go put it in here wait maybe that's where i put it oops desktop chat no 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 put it in here i need to go to our here USB drive firmware right here. I'm gonna paste it here onto the directly into the SD card. I don't feel like going through OpenTX anymore. All right, so now I can. I'm just gonna right click, eject, right click, eject. All right, let's take the radio off of USB. I'm sorry if it's hard to follow on some of this, but uh, just bear with me a second because I don't like some of the stuff I see. So I'm gonna go to firmware now, go to TX, and I'm gonna go to 2.1.0. And I'm going to flash the internal module. I do think that I'm going to get a better reception to the receiver when I do this. So while that's going on, let's close everything down on the screen so we don't need all this crap open now. And that's the diatome mama. So let me hold that one there. Close QX7. Close that and get rid. Close that and open. Let's close that too. We'll open beta flight and get ready. So when this radio is done, we'll be ready. Now, I guess while that's loading, we can go ahead and check out beta flight some more. So uh, let me move the radio out of the way. So let it update. Let's bring this drone back. Let's check out the, uh, where is my, there it is. Okay, so let's power this back up. And let's head on over to our uh, motors real quickly. Okay, and, um, yeah, that's fine, but I'm not going to use that. I'm going to go to one shot one two five so I can test the ESC out. So I'm going to click save and reboot. Look at that. We got. Oh, you guys can't see that. Check that out. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, we got our LEDs working. Okay. So now I'm going to go like this. Where the hell am I going? Here we go. Okay, we're going to go and open. I don't know if this is. Let me see. Okay, 16.7, excellent. So what I wanna do is I want to disconnect, okay? I wanna come over here, I wanna power off the quad. I'm gonna connect in here, go to my motors, just like the old way of doing this, activate them, crank it all the way up, and turn it on. Okay, disarm it, disconnect, come back over here, open this up, click read setup, awesome. Now, what we're gonna see is we're gonna see if they're synchronized. So motor one, minimum is 1012, max 2004, motor two, 1012, 2004, man, that's perfect. Everything is running perfect. So let's go ahead and remove the programming and click write setup. Love it, love it, love it. Now, what we don't know is if the motors are set in the right pattern. Fine. So uh, we're going to continue with this right now. Okay. 
Right. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we are going to uh, go back over here and connect. And I am going to go to the Motors tab. And I'm going to arm it. And I'm going to make sure that Motor 1 spins when I say Motor 1. So Motor 1 is going to be here. Motor 1 is spinning counterclockwise. Motor 2, clockwise. Motor 3, clockwise. And Motor 4, counterclockwise. So if he wants to keep it like that, I'm going to change that. And I'm going to put it the way, the normal way. So I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to head back over to BL Heli. Okay, and I'm going to read the setup again. They're all spinning the opposite direction. So what I'm going to do is motor one is going to be normal. Oops, 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 sorry. Let me go normal. I'm going to write the setup. Okay, motor two is going to be normal. They're all reversed, I guess. Right setup. Okay, motor three, right setup. Okay, and motor four, right setup. So they were all reversed in here. There's no need for them to be right now, so I'm going to disconnect. Now I'm going to connect back, go to motors, and now I'm going to test it again, and we're going to turn this on. We're going to motor one, clockwise, motor two, counter, motor three, counter, motor four, clockwise. Perfect. This thing is running like a champion. All right. Now with that done, uh, for the time being, what we're going to do is let's head back to the table where we are going to, we are now bound. Let's click exit, exit, exit. And one thing we're going to see is I'm just going to see if this thing is going to hold a signal. I've got to keep them somewhat separated, I guess. Um, let me try that. So let me turn this off. Let's turn it back on. Let's see if we can get a signal here. All right, we have a green light. If I go to receiver, we should have if we can get the connection, it's just bouncing still. So let me see if I can get the, there we go. We should have a connection coming shortly here. Let me move this just a little bit away. All right, so we have that. And we can see in our setup, we have our RSSI. Um, and let's see what else do we need. Uh, okay, so let's go to our modes. Okay, now I don't know if this guy has any switches set. Let me go back to receiver and flip switches. He's got no switches set, wonderful. Okay, so we're gonna turn this off. Bring our radio back. This is great. Okay, so the next thing to do now is now we have to set switches, right? So let's go ahead and click page here. And we're going to go to our inputs. Uh, arm, that's fine, but there's nothing set here for arming. So let's go back one. So let's go down. He's made the first one arm. Let's edit it. Source. Oh, no, that's not right. So we're going to name this arm. Okay. Whoops. Let's go down here. And now we're going to flip the switch SA. So, sir, when you see this video, this is your arm switch. Okay. Forward is disarmed. Towards you, middle and all the way is armed. That way, if you bump it by accident, it still stays armed. So this is your arm switch. Okay. The next switch is going to be your mode switch. So I'm just going to title that MOD. M-O-D. D. Okay. I'm going to go down here and do it again. M O. D. Okay, and then when we do that one, that's going to be this three-way switch right here. Okay, and the way it's going to work is all the way away from you is going to be uh, acro with, uh, that's just acro mode. Middle is acro with air, and all the way this way is horizon mode. Okay, so you can change that any way you want, but sometimes I do fly acro without air mode. So I put that, so that's acro, acro with air, horizon mode. Okay. So let's do that. And then the last one is going to be your fail safe. So we're going to title this F A I. And sorry, I didn't pick how many letters you could use. That's not my fault. Oops. We go back in here and name this F A A. Come on, A I L. Okay. And then that source is going to be this big one right here. Okay. So what's going to happen is if you add a buzzer on this later on, the way this is configured, forward position is nothing, middle is buzzer, all the way down is buzzer with failsafe. Okay? So that's how it's set up in your radio. Now we're going to go to the next page, and let's go ahead and set up your mixes. So this is going to be called ARM. Okay, exit. This one is going to be called MODE. OK, 
Okay, and then this one is going to be called fail. Okay, and now when we bring your quad back and we plug it into Betaflight and turn it on, and I show you the Betaflight screen, now when I flip those, watch. Okay, you're going to see activity here. Okay, that's your arm. This is your fail, and this is your mode. So now I'm gonna go into your system here and I'm gonna set it up for you. Arm, it's gonna be this one, and these two positions are armed, okay? Horizon is gonna be a third one, and that is going to be when the switch is brought all the way down to there, okay? Uh, fail safe, that range is the big one, and that's when it's in this position here, okay? Beeper, that's gonna be the same switch, and that's gonna be like that, all right? And then we're gonna to go to your air mode, Air mode is going to be the mode switch in middle position. So when it's here, it's acro, acro with air, then here is horizon, as you can see by where the positioning is here. And that is it. Sorry, but you can go back and look at this later if you'd like. I know I'm going through it kind of quick, but this is nearing two hours or getting on its way to two hours. And I need to make sure that we get this done and get out to you. So there's that. All right, now let's go back to your receiver. Uh, let's go back to your uh, motors. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to arm and I'm gonna flip the switch. And uh, let me see, hold on, where am I at? Oh, whoops, I hit your, you're in fail safe mode. Sorry, that's my fault. So let me do that again. I think, I don't know if I have to reset it. There we go. Flip your switch and there you go. See it? Everything's running clean. All your motors are going clean. They're all spinning. If you'd like to see that, let me show you. Da -da. Off, arm, off, arm. Okay, now, as far as your LED goes, I guess we can work on that a little bit. So let me go to your LED, let me disarm. Let's go back to beta flight real quick. Okay, and let's go to your LED strip. And since it's four of them on, you've already done this. So it's, it's four lights, not five. So let's go ahead and clear the selected. Okay, and let's go to wiring mode. It's only gonna be four, one, two, three, four. Okay, and clear all wiring. All right, and click save. Okay, the, the lights are off. All right, now let's do the wiring and do one, two, three, four. And what we can do is we'll say that, hey, when we do this, we want it to be a color and we want it to be a Larson scanner and let's make it red. Okay, and let's click save. Okay, now you can see that your quad is doing this. Okay, so cool, there you go. Bingo, bingo, bongo, it's all good. And now if we go back to motors and I arm it, you will be set to arm. Perfect, done. Okay, that is all. Your quad is running great. Everything now is working. There is nothing else included in this. So I think we have accomplished our task. Let me turn that off. Okay, let's disconnect this. Let's disconnect this. Now let's just put the rest of it. I'm gonna turn your radio off. Okay, and let's put the rest of this back together. And we'll close it up and I will get this ready to go out to you today, my friend. You still have to add your camera and stuff, but uh, I think for right now, the hard part is done. This, the rest of this stuff is a walk in the park and your soldering skills are good. So I have full faith that you'll be able to solder the camera wires and everything else on here. But if you have any questions, you let me know. But let's close this up now. Okay. And then we'll put your antenna wires down for your receiver and you'd be golden, my friend. Golden. Uh, I don't worry about that too much. I think that's going to be just fine. But I do want to zip tie those. 
and then I need to put some shrink heat shrink around it. So let's do this. There we go. That's done. And there we go. The tenors are in, everything's good. Everything looks good here. I think you're set, man. You're gonna be all set. Everything here looks great. So we've got it all programmed, the radio's done, we've got your receiver in, I'm gonna send this ELRS back to you. So you've got that to work with as well in the future. I'll put that in the little baggie for you. And my friend, you are all done. Uh, let me just do this real quickly. The you know, that fan, that, that air gun's gonna turn off here in just a second. Uh, let's do this, this, and this. There we go. Perfect, okay. So there you go. So this quad was pretty much uh, get it going from the ground up again. Uh, we did. Everything is now programmed. It functions properly. I think all you got to do is do whatever little fine tune, fine, fine touches, I guess, or last minute touches or whatever it is you want to do on this thing. Uh, you you know, if you're adding a camera or what have you, but looks good. It's going to fly good. Everything is set right. Um, and uh, you can make whatever modifications you want. I just basically gave you a foundation, a starting point. And then from there you do what you want. I'm proud of you for what you've done. Your soldering skills are very good, so keep that up. And remember to try to keep it simple. Don't put the wires through the holes you don't need to. Just stay on the top, use your um, flux, use your good solder, and you'll be set, okay? If you have any questions, let me know, guys. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm a one-man band here, you know? And uh, and we've done a really good thing. Our business has been around almost five years, and uh, and it's gonna be around for a lot longer. I, I'm <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what everyone else is going to do. Uh, FAA is obviously coming down with some new things, and uh, hopefully the donations stop to this some, some schmucks efforts for nothing. But anyways, all right, guys. Listen, you be good. God bless. Be safe. Go spend time with the family. Never know how much time you have left to my boys. What's up, guys? I'll see you soon. And to my wife, try not to spend too much while you shop today. All right, guys. Peace. Talk to you later. Bye.